Hey guys, Chad here from CNR Reviews. We have the SR556 out here. This is the essential version. And I want to go ahead and show you guys how to swap out the flash hider, muzzle brake, whatever you want to switch to. But this is the standard birdcage flash hider that comes on the SR556 um, essential. And uh, there's nothing wrong with this one, but um, I just kind of wanted to swap it out. That's what makes this one so different compared to the other SR556, the standard, is that this one is considerably cheaper, running around $1,150 to $1,250, where you can actually have a piston AR and be able to customize it the way you want. So let me go ahead and show you how to replace this. Fortunately, I don't have Ryan here, so I'm actually handling the camera. Do you need an AR tool? No, you don't. Um, all you need is a basic crescent wrench. And uh, you want to get one big enough that will actually fit over this. You can, if you lay the rifle down on its side, it's actually the easiest way to, to, to remove it just by applying pressure on the barrel or here. And then just working that nut. Now this is uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. As you guys can see, I've already gotten it loose. So loosen it up. And uh, like I said, it didn't take much with the crescent wrench to do that. And uh, go ahead and remove this guy. And there is the old muzzle brake flash hider. And actually, I think this one is just a flash hider. And there is a crush washer on the end of the barrel. So that's where it would have went. Is that right there? Go ahead and remove that. And I decided to go with a YHM. That's a Yankee Hill machine. This is the Phantom uh, flash hider and uh, muzzle brake. Um, so as you guys can see, it says Compensator Flash Hider Phantom 5C2. Um, I had read some really good reviews on it. Now in the box, they actually give you a crush washer. And how you want to install it is, you guys can see, they have a little bevel. And that actually needs to go on. So, just, so let's see if we can focus in on that. There's that bevel. You want to go ahead and put that on, just like so. And according to their website, this thing is already indexed for you. It only goes on one way, and it only thre I mean threads on one way. And you basically put that on there, just start threading it on. Now remember, do not apply too much pressure when you go to tighten this guy down. It doesn't need that much, but you do want to definitely re replace the crush washer. And then you can go ahead and take your crescent wrench and tighten that guy down. Now, I have heard problems of indexing where there's a fatter part on the compensator, it's down here, where it doesn't sit totally flat. Now, is that a huge issue? Uh, no, it's not, but you're trying to, as the gas comes out, you're trying to put pressure on that area to actually help hold the muzzle down so you're not getting as much muzzle flip. Not that the 556223 has a ton of muzzle flip to begin with, but it just anything to help out is, is just, you know, just gonna make it a little bit easier. But that is how you install one, and it's very simple, guys. All right, guys, so the last step would be take your crescent wrench, whatever you have, this one's all beat up and stuff, but, um, and then just go ahead and tighten that down. You don't wanna make it too tight, probably 15 to 20 pounds. Of tightness and that is more than plenty so that is how you do it if you have any other questions feel free to ask we're gonna have a ton of videos on this rifle uh, we'll have a break-in video as far as in uh, showing you the first shots um, we'll even be comparing this to a rock uh, um, a rock river coyote rifle um, and a colt ar so uh, if you have any questions again feel free to ask and have a nice day this is chad from cnr reviews